Hi, I'm Joe from Garmin. Training status is a new feature available on select Garmin devices that analyzes your training and fitness level history to let you know how your body is responding. In this video, we'll explain how training status is calculated and how this measurement can help you train more productively. Your training status is determined based primarily on two variables, how your fitness is changing and how your training load is changing. For example, if you have been easing off on your training load and your VO2 max is increasing, then you are moving into a peaking state of training where you are both well rested and near your best fitness. Your fitness level is assessed by your VO2 max and the training status calculation can consider even fractional changes in this measurement. In another video, we discuss how the dose of an exercise session is quantified using an estimate of excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, known as EPOC for short. Your weekly training load is just the sum of your EPOC for all your training over the last seven days. The device also keeps track of your longer-term training load as a baseline and compares your current weekly training load to this longer-term base. This short-term, long-term comparison is a key factor in analyzing training load change. There are seven training status levels in addition to no status. These are detraining, unproductive, recovery, maintaining, productive, peaking, and overreaching. Getting optimal results requires some training history. The first several days you use your device, it will be learning your fitness level and beginning to build your training history. After a week, it will use the data acquired thus far for the short term to project your longer term training history. By this point, you will begin to see a training status which is shown on your watch on the performance widget and graphed on Garmin Connect. The more you use your device, the more data it will gather. So results will be based more and more on your true training history. Training status is a measurement specific to you. It is sensitive to your fitness level and your training history. If you sometimes loan your watch to a friend or you're missing data, such as when you run without your Garmin, this will have an effect on your training status results. So for best results, bring your Garmin along with you for every training session. To get even more accurate results, use a Garmin chest strap heart rate monitor. For more information on the new training features being introduced, watch the other videos in this series.